next question that is question number 36 what is question number 36 saying 10 ships you can see here 10 ships and five pigs were bought for rupees 6000 okay first of all it is saying 10 ships plus five pigs is bought at 6000 okay now if the average price of ship is 450 now they have already given average of uh, average of how many uh, ship average of ship is 450 so average use the same formula 450 is average of ships then some you have to find again some you don't know and find the uh, uh, 450 how many picks how many ships were there these are ships and this is pig okay pigs so how many ships were there 10 so you have to do 10 again you just multiply this two you'll get four five double zero sum of sum of ships Okay. now total how much they have given total together it is six thousand so just minus the six thousand because it includes pigs and ships so for ships it is four thousand five hundred and then uh, when you minus the ships with the six thousand total number you'll get uh, how many uh, you'll get the amount of pigs okay so minus four five double zero will be coming around one five double zero okay now this will be the sum of pigs okay sum of pigs now it is very easy how many pigs were there total of uh five pigs okay so they what they are asking find the average price of pig so average price of pig will be how much this, if this is sum divide by the total number of pigs that is five to start five trees are fifteen zero zero so it'll be three hundred so the answer for question number 36 is option number d okay that is uh, uh that is 300 don't be confused Watch it again and again. You will learn. Let's go to next question. That is question number 37. Question number 37 is the uh, rupees 324 is divided among three friends. That is Sonu, Molu and Hari. Okay. The total number is how much? 324 rupees. These are divided among three friends. In the ratio of 5, 6, 7. So whenever you see ratio, uh, that means uh, for Sodu it is 5, for Monu it is 6, for Hari it is 7. Okay. So whenever you see ratio, just add X in front of, multiply by X. Okay. So for Sonu it will be 5X, for Monu it will be 6X and for Hari it will be 7X. Now what they are saying is, this 324 rupees is divided among this one so how you will do uh, so add this one and equal to 324 like this one okay 5x plus 6x plus 7x equal to 324 and this one will be 5 uh, 5 plus 6 11 plus 7 is 18 so it will be 18x equal to 324 uh, again do do the same Again, do the same. You uh, bring. You have to find x equal to. Uh, bring this 18 down to 324. Divide by 18. Start with cancellation. You can do it directly with 18 also, or with 2, 9, whatever you like, which will be easy. Uh, now I'm doing 18 once 18. 18 into 18 is 324. So we got the value of x. That is 18. Okay. So what they are asking? What is mono share? So mono is how much? Mono is 6x so you have to find 6x so there will they'll be 6x will be 6 into 18 just multiply this 2 6 8 is 48 carry 4 6 1 is 6 plus 4 10 that is 108 so for question number 37 answer will be option number b okay follow this steps only you'll be doing it easily okay these are very easy let's go to next question that is question number 38 so what is 38 saying two whole numbers whose sum is 64 can be again this is the question of ratio so see here two whole numbers whose sum is already given it's equal to 64 now you have to find this two and plus two ratio this one and this one whose sum is 64 so how you will do uh again like i said put x in front x in front now if you add seven plus two this will be seven just for example i'm doing for one option this type of question you can do directly with the option okay uh seven x plus two x now we'll get how much nine x equal to 64 
excuse me then now uh, 9x x equal to 64 by 9 can you divide 64 by 9 no so this is not possible okay there's no number of 64 in table of 9 so you can just che check with the next option so here 7 plus 6 is 13 that's also not divisible by uh, that 13 64 is not divisible by 13 check this option number c that is 3 plus 1 is equal to 64 say x and x will be 4x equal to 64 and x will be equal to 64 by 4 just divide 4 1 are 4 4 6 are 24 okay so answer is 16 and option number c will be the correct answer the one which is divisible directly that will be your answer okay next uh for question number 39 so it is just a simple multiplication there is 0 0.0003 into 0 0.02 multiply 2 3 is a 6 0 0 0 0 and again 0 0 0 0 0 then again 0 0 0 0 0 now this this 6 will be here this 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 6 0 and this decimal point where you will give just count after this decimal point 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this will be one decimal point so count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this will be your correct answer okay so option number d will be your correct answer just simple multiplication let's go to next question that is question number 40 let's go uh, in question number 40 we have in a school for midday meal food is sufficient for 250 stu students for 33 days so there's a school where midday meal is being served so they are saying there are 240 total, uh, 250 total students and the midday meal will be th for 33 days if each student is given 325 so there are tw 250 uh, you can see here there are 250 students 250 number of students and how much they are given 325 meals per day okay now if each student is given 325 meals 80 more students join them so like last time we have saw one question of this type uh it, it was regarding ration and all army ration it will be done in the same way first of all 250 into uh 3 325 will be the uh, this will be total number of students. This will be meal served. Okay, and you have to multiply with how much with total number of days It is given 33. Okay, yeah, 33 days and divide by Like we have uh, we have done first number of uh, uh, Population and then divide by total number of population now. Let's check total number of population will be how much uh, if uh, 80 more students so there was 250 already plus 80 more students and they were also served with 325 number. Okay, meals so let's start with the cancellation now 250 into 325 divide by add that's one zero it's zero then 8 plus 5 is 13 carry 1 then 3 3 30 uh, into 325 multiply by 33 start with the cancellation 3 3 25 3 25 gets cancelled 3 11 3 1 1 0 then 11 1 11 10 so cancel 0 and 0 remaining is 25 so how many days how many days will be remaining will be 25 number of days so answer for option number 40 will be option number d okay 25 let's go to next question uh, we are almost done i think <coughs> okay, let's see question number 41 for what it is saying is 10 men can finish construction of a hut in eight days so 10 men you have to remember the formula uh 10 men men when one into number of days day one you can write equal they are doing same work so you have to give equal uh how many men can do so m2 into how many days day two okay so m1 how much you have given 10 men into how many days eight days equal men to how many men so men we don't know we write m2 into days how many days uh of a heart in eight days how many men are needed to finish the same day in half a day they're saying half a day half a day so you can write it as one by two okay half a day now just do again 10 into 8 is 80 equal this will be m2 by 2 now cross multiply to you have to find this m2 
very easy just find this cross multiply 80 into 2 equal m2 so 8 into 2 is how much 60 so it will be 160 so m2 will be how much 160 okay uh, answer for option number 41 or uh, question number 41 is option number d i hope you're understanding let's do question number 42 now uh 42 what it is saying is what is the distance traveled by a car which traveled at a speed of 80 km per hour for 3 hours and 30 minutes so as you know uh, formula of speed is how much what is the formula of speed is distance traveled by time taken okay so distance traveled by time taken so which travel at speed of so let us see speed is how much 80 km only given and uh, for three hours time is how much three three hours 30 minutes so you can write this one as three hours 3.5 hours directly okay 3.5 hours what do you have to find what is the distance you have to find this distance how you will do so distance is you have to remember this formula nicely okay you have to remember this formula nicely speed is distance by time so how you will do this one as you know just put in the formula this uh, numbers only 80 speed is 80 so i'll write 80 equal to distance we don't know you have to find the distance by 3.5 hours so just uh, multiply again see just cross multiply 80 into 3.5 is equal to distance well, once you multiply this one how much will get let's start with the multiplication uh 80 3.5 5 0 5 8 is 40 then 0 3 0 3 8 24 get 0 0 4 4 8 2 see one uh, after this one only one number just up before one number you give decimal so it will be 280 so answer will be 280 distance will be how much 280 uh whereas the uh, where is uh, to 80 in option option number B so question number 42 answer is option number B okay 80 km to 80 kilometer and distance are always measured in kilometer meter like that okay let's go for next question next question is uh, what is the average of question number 43 what is the average of the number so like we have already said average you know average will be sum of numbers divided by total number of observation total number of observation okay sum of number uh, sum of observation and then total number of observation so you have to find this average equal to so how many number what is the average number sum of numbers at 0 plus 0 you'll be 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 10 plus 15 plus 5 divided by how many count 1 2 3 4 5 6 total number of observation is 6 so add this one 0 plus 0 is 0 4 plus 10 is 14 14 plus 15 is 29 plus 5 is uh, 34 no uh, 4 plus uh, 4 plus 10 is will be 14 14 uh, it is 5 okay i'm sorry i've written 15 this will be 5 only plus 5 so you add 4 plus 10 is 14 plus this 5 plus 5 is 10 24 so you'll get 24 by 6 cancel 6 fours are 24 so average will be how much 24 so question number 43 answer is option number c